Hi, this is Ali, and in this video I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a little bit on my channel recently, which is about the double inhale, long exhale breath that I've been guiding at this in the settling in of the Yoga Nidra recordings. Um, so this is a new breathing technique that I learned from uh, Andrew Huberman, Dr. Andrew Huberman, who is a neuroscientist that actually studies Yoga Nidra, which is very exciting. Um, at the end of this video, I'll leave a link to his podcast where he talks about this breath. Um, and I'm not a neuroscientist, but I, those of you who train with me uh, in my Yoga Nidra trainings and 200 hour teacher trainings and things like that, know that I have um, a really nerdy little heart and I love talking about science and especially neuroscience and how um, some of these different practices affect the nervous system and the brain. Um, so essentially this breath is a natural mechanism. Uh, I, I won't be able to describe it properly but there's a nerve in the neck somewhere and when um, and what will happen is even in when people sob or even when I notice sometimes when my baby is sleeping or I used to notice when my dog is sleeping, there's this sort of natural breath that occurs. So it, it can happen involuntary and it goes something like this. So you might notice if you have pets that sometimes they do that when they're, they're sleeping. Essentially what's happening is it's expanding the alveoli in the lungs to the largest capacity and then offloading the largest amount of carbon dioxide possible. So uh, what Dr. Huberman has discovered is that this is one of the fastest ways to actually activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is our part of our autonomic nervous system that soothes and calms us. It, it takes us into the more into the relaxation state and also rest and digest. You may have heard all of these different terms in relation to the nervous system. So it's our rest and digest response and our relaxation response that is, um, is uh, triggered by this double inhale, exhale breath. So I've been using this with my daughter and what I will say is that if your child is having a meltdown, <laughs> This works really well and really quickly with little children. So any parents that are out there, um, you can put this one in your back pocket, but let's just sit down together. He recommends doing two to three in a row when you're feeling heightened. And what I've been doing with my students in class is 10 in a row. So we'll try that today. So just find a comfortable seated position, close down the eyes and just start by noticing your natural breath. Feeling the flow of air in your nostrils. Begin to notice the expansion in the lungs, the volume of the lungs shifting one breath at a time. Begin to welcome also the belly, the belly expanding and emptying out. And noticing also the diaphragm. And then I'll do a demonstration. The breath is essentially two sips in through the nose and then a long exhale through the mouth. So it's like this. Trying to use the full capacity of your lungs. We'll do 10 rounds together, starting with an in breath.
do one more longest exhale and then keeping the eyes closed just continue to notice your breath let it come back to its natural rhythm And just notice how you feel. Notice if any shift has taken place in the emotional tone that's here, the quality of presence that's here, perhaps. Any sensations in the body, just noticing what you notice. Allowing yourself to sort of bask in any of the positive effects that this breath may have had on your nervous system, on your mind. And then fluttering the eyes open. So there you have it. That is the double inhale, exhale breath. Um, let me know in the comments below if you're familiar with this breath uh, or if you've learned about this breath from Dr. Huberman, I know there are many of you here finding the channel thanks to his recommendations of Yoga Nidra. So I'm very grateful to him and his promotion of this practice because I have actually found that over the years I used to suffer from a panic disorder, an anxiety disorder when I was young and pranayama, breathing, and Yoga Nidra has actually completely rewired my nervous system and so I haven't had a panic attack now. I had them frequently, I would be hospitalized and everything, and I haven't had one in over a decade. So I'm really grateful to all of these practices that help us to kind of completely calm and soothe our nervous system and sort of swing it to the other end of the pendulum from being, you know, in that state of panic to being in the relaxation in the state. So um, this is one of 10 or 11 different breaths that I teach in my Yoga Nidra teacher training. Uh, we teach, I teach several different breaths uh, to help people prepare for Yoga Nidra. So breaths, they're all different breaths that calm and soothe the nervous system completely. Um, so I'll post uh, some more information about that here at the end of this video as well, along with um, a link to Dr. Huberman's podcast where he talks about this particular breathing technique and he can go really into all of the science that um, that is behind it and what they're finding in those studies so thank you for being here with me and I'll also post a link to a yoga nidra recording that I made where we practice this breath um, just as we settle in two or three rounds I think and then into a nice short little nidra nap okay thank you for being here with me today um, have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video.